Hey, what's going on, Applause Boot Camp? This is Mike Sneed coming to you. I want to talk to you real quick. I just want to tell the alumni and everybody who's taking the Applause Boot Camp uh, just how proud I am of what they're actually doing. Uh, you all are the actual engineers <laughs> of, of, this, of, 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 of this era, believe it or not. Um, I, I was at a customer house today. He was an a engineer and he had a refrigerator and he tried to, he, he tried to, to go fix the LG compressor and uh, he knew nothing about what he was doing, Didn't, couldn't read a schematic but he was trying to show me how to, uh, how to take the panel off the refrigerator, he didn't know how to do anything and it actually dawned on me that the people who are going out to, be, uh, to get so-called bachelor's degrees and all this stuff in engineering at the traditional way they used to be, uh, become engineers, uh, they're no longer the engineers. Uh, I, I, I noticed that when I was in college. Uh, I had a, a professor, I'll never forget, as you all know, I worked at Sears as an appliance repairman while I was in uh, college. i never forget, uh, I had, uh, my college professor, he had just taught me uh, earlier that week uh, what, how uh, microwave technology, how microwave worked. You know, uh, how the, the, the microwave goes in and it hits the water molecules and, uh, and food and it, it makes the water molecules move back and forth. The water molecule bouncing back and forth against each other creates friction, which creates the heat. So he knew all that theory and stuff. And I'll never forget, uh, uh, I get a service call at Sears to go to his house to fix the microwave. And it, it, I was just so surprised that he couldn't fix the microwave. He knew all the stuff that, uh, uh, and he was a PhD, he knew all the stuff that, uh, uh, that, uh, that how microwave, the theory of how it worked. Uh, he knew how to read schematics. Uh, he was actually teaching. He actually was teaching uh, schematics and how how schematics work. But he couldn't apply it. He couldn't actually take that uh, theory that he knew uh, about microwaves and knew how to read schematics to actually take and apply it to the microwave and fix his microwave. And I was just so shocked that he couldn't fix it. And he was so shocked that I could. <laughs> and uh, I never forget. That was like uh, kind of like we had to do like a little project. Where we actually had to uh, had to actually uh, uh, get in front of the class and actually uh, go over a schematic and tell how the actual schematic worked, the functions of the different components, break down a schematic. And, and in class, that's what I done. I just done his microwave to just to tell him how, how, how showing them how it works and stuff, and what I was doing at Sears repairing it. Uh, if anybody who was in my electronic class, they might remember that. Uh, I'm not going to call the professor name, he might be still a professor at, uh, at, uh, at, at the university. But yeah, that's what I, uh, I he, couldn't, he couldn't actually go and fix his microwave. And that's the same thing that's happening now. Uh, people uh, uh, actually know the theory and stuff, but they don't know how to uh, actually take that theory and apply it to different situations to actually get the end results. And the same thing is going on with business. Uh, in the past, uh, when I first got into business 15, 20 years ago, there was no YouTube. Uh, there, there wasn't no Audible for you to actually go and have somebody read a book to you or for me to go and actually see uh, Napoleon Hill speaking directly to me. No, uh, if I wanted to know, uh, if I wanted to, to get the information on the Think and Grow Rich, I had to go grab that book, buy it. I had to go to Barnes & Noble or Borders buy the book, uh, a lot of times it wouldn't have been there, I had to order it when it came in. I had to actually sit down and read those books. Um, and, and back then, people actually uh, pride themselves on their book collection. I remember I used to buy two books. If I, if I had a good book, and, uh, and, uh, and that was the thing we used to ask each other. Um, hey, uh, what's a, what's, what book are you reading now? What's a good book? You know? So when I got around my friends, that's what we would do. We would ask, uh, we'd trade off books. And if I got a, a good book, I didn't want to trade it off. I'll actually buy another one so I could give it away. Um, uh, so, uh, so what happens, and people who got to business early, especially people who got to YouTube early, uh, they had read those books. They didn't know how to apply it. They were pretty much like our professors where they actually knew the information they had been exposed to and they can regurgitate it. And um, they actually uh, what uh, just came on YouTube first and put it out there uh, and gave you the, the, that information. Because they knew uh, most people had not read you no know, Napoleon Hill. They had not read anything about Brian Tracy. They had never done any of that stuff. 
Um, so uh, if they gave you that information, if they, they were talking and said something um, coming directly from one of those books, uh, it was the first time a lot of people heard it. And, and it, 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 they said, man, this, this guy, this lady, uh, they're, they're, very, uh, they're very smart. They know business. Uh, now what has happened, uh, people have caught up to that, especially the alumni from Applause Boot Camp. Uh, you all are actually now uh, actually out here running businesses. So if somebody's giving you all some information, it's kind of like Brian Tracy said. Um, in order for you to get a, a PhD in any type of subject, you only have to read about 25, 30 books on that subject to become a PhD. Uh, that they, they acquire the knowledge of the, uh, someone that has a PhD in that subject. So that's why it's not it's not no surprise when you see the alumni uh, from Applause Boot Camp. Uh, within a year, they are, they are subject matter experts because what you're doing, just think every night you're, read, you're reading 20 and 30 pages of schematics uh, or 20 or 30 pages on just refrigerators, on just washers, on just dryers. And not only that, you, uh, unlike being in a college, uh, college classroom where you might, uh, you might just read something just so you can pass the test, don't really understand it and don't really, uh, don't really know how to apply it. You all are going out the next morning, and that's y'all test. Uh, y'all study at night, and next morning you go take a test. You ain't getting no A, B, C, or D grade. What you're getting is, uh, is this thing going to work or not? So what's happening, you all have been able to take that information that you all are, 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 are acquiring that night and studying for it and going out and applying it to the actual, comp uh, actual um, product itself. And you're actually then finding out how well you study and that you master that, that subject that you're on. So you were doing this for about a year or so. After a year, you got the knowledge of somebody who has a PhD in refrigeration. <laughs> the knowledge of somebody who has a PhD in electronics. You all know this stuff now. And that's why you all are, are doing so well. That's why I, 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 I push for you all to start your own business and go this route. Because if you're actually working for somebody, you're not gonna put the effort in after work to be at, uh, um, at, uh, at home all night studying, um, trying to get schematics and stuff. You're just going to call whoever the lead tech is or call your uh, call your boss and say, hey, what's going on here? Uh, you're not going to be there uh, trying to acquire that knowledge. And some people say, yeah, well, I will, but I know. When I was an engineer, I will not want to be out there trying to, I'm not going to off work, I was off work. That was my time. I look at that stuff when I got to work. I won't be doing all this studying for no hours on end trying to master uh, engineering. Uh, when I got to work, I, I've done it on their dime. But you all are actually studying, putting the work in, then you're going out and applying it. Not only that, this business theory, you all, uh, if you all study in marketing, you get to take whatever you read in marketing, and it's not like no college course where you're going to, and you're going to get a, a, a degree in marketing where all you're doing is just doing models or you're doing studies of old models or, you, or, you're, uh, or you're out here just studying theory and, uh, and never getting a place to actually put it to work. Um, you all read something on marketing, you all put it, in, <laughs> put it to work directly in your business the next day and, and within 30 days you know if it's, if it's BS or not. You know if it works or not. Because uh, you, can, you can tell right then and there if it's going to work. Same thing with this financial stuff. All this stuff people tell you all about financial and, and about business. You all are able to apply it directly to a business. It's not something where somebody's going to sell you a course and have you doing uh, prerequisite work for a year and they never give you a business. You all, when you all complete this, you all are actually going out, running your business, applying the information that, um, that's out here for everybody to get. Uh, to your business and actually seeing what works and doesn't work. Uh, so that's why I want to just come tell to you uh, about that, just telling you how proud I am of you all. Also, I want to tell the people who are out here putting content out here, um, uh, you, we got to be mindful of the stuff that we put out here. Because uh, what's happening, a lot of times, if, well, if you truly care about people, because what happens, a lot of times we put stuff out here that we know uh, is not really going to help nobody. But uh, like I say in the past, you can just put generic business stuff out there. You can put something out here uh, about uh, about uh, putting something in, in uh, 
in a, in a uh, irreversible trust, <laughs> put it into a trust, uh, uh, a, a trust fund, and all, and, and, and no one, uh, we had nobody in five generations in our family that, that had anything they could put into a trust. We don't even have nothing we can put into a trust, but we're, we're, it sounds good, and it sounds great to be at the cookout or uh, uh, at the Thanksgiving table, the, talking about that amongst your family and friends, but we know we can't never implement it. So we are actually bottled courses thinking that we're doing something. Uh, and what happens, uh, we, after, after we bought two or three of those courses and doesn't see uh, any, 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 doesn't see it bearing the fruit, or we don't see any uh, uh, return on it, now uh, uh, our family, friends, especially if you're married and stuff, our wives and our spouses, now there, when you come across somebody who's genuinely trying to help you, that has a product that can help us, um, they're they're reluctant to, to actually take it because they got burnt so much in the past. Uh, so something that could really help somebody in their life and get them moving, they're reluctant to buy it. They get pushed and they, they they pass by something that could really help them because somebody has sold them a, 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 a bag of coal so many times that they don't trust anybody anymore. And a lot of times, like I say, that comes directly into our community. Our community is the one because, unfortunately, we don't get exposed to a lot of entrepreneurs, entrepreneurship. So what happened, people can come to us and pretty much uh, tell us, any, uh, used to be able to come to us, tell us pretty much anything about entrepreneurship. And we'll buy uh, hook, line, and sinker and, uh, and, and take their word as gospel. Just to realize that they not the person who's selling that doesn't know how to start a business. Uh, uh, their business is actually getting you to buy that product. Uh, telling you how to start a business that they can't start themselves. Um, I myself, if you look, uh, I'm in the middle of my ice cream parlor. Uh, you all have seen me come purchase this ice cream, this building, renovated myself uh, with the help of my son and, and uh, one or two young men that had never uh, built anything before. We built it, we got it up and running. It's actually doing well. Uh, we're, uh, it, you, you're seeing I go out in front of the store, set up and go live. You see people coming in, leaving out, telling me, hey, this is the best ice cream I ever had in my life. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm now wholesaling it, and I got, I got uh, um, high-end um, bakeries and high-end ice cream stores who are actually telling me the same thing. you making some of the best ice cream you, uh, I ever had. And all that comes from um, me being an entrepreneur and learning how to know how to start businesses. And that's what I'm going to teach you all. Uh, with Applause Boot Camp, I think appliance repair is the best business you can get into. It's the last of the skilled trades that doesn't require a contractor license, but it pays just as much as you was a plumbing contractor, an HVAC contractor, or electrical contractor. So once again, if you hadn't already, there's a link in the description. Click on that link, I'll sign up for appliance boot camp, and let me teach you how to start your own appliance repair business. And then from there, you can actually uh, do what I'm doing. You can branch off, you can start an ice cream parlor, you can get into real estate, all that stuff I'm showing you how to do it. You get my actual game plan on how I actually run my businesses, how I actually create my retirement, how I actually live my life for the last uh, 25 or 30 years going on now. Once again, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all later.